Um, heading to Wisconsin, what uh, you've got a chance at a number two seed in the Big Ten tournament. What does this mean heading out there? You know, we just kind of look at it like another game, to be honest with you. Um, there hasn't been a, you know, a change in our mentality or anything. Every game is important this time of year. Um, you know, when you get into March, and you're, there's just so much on the line from the conference tournament seedings, from um, NCAA tournament seedings, you know, and, and an opportunity to get a great road win. So uh, we kind of lock in on that. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot else besides focusing on the game plan and uh, focusing on ourselves as well as uh, where we feel, uh, you know, we need to do better. And, uh, that's really it more than anything. I think a lot of people have been surprised to see them not winning uh, quite at the pace they were earlier in the season. Watching those games, have you noticed anything that's different in their game? You know, it's not as sometimes wins and losses, you know, they didn't get a rebound and Jordan Bahanna hits a three. You know, if they rebound the ball, they win the game. Um, so it's, it's not necessarily as complex as everybody makes it out to be. Um, you know, it's just like when we went through our five-game losing streak and then we started winning. It was like a made free throw here or a loose ball there. Um, so it's just a fine line. So there's still a very, very good team. Um, terrific talent, uh, well-coached, and um, experienced. You know, that's a, a, a lot of things going in your favor. So uh, I, I've got a lot of respect for them, and, and it's not... It's not one or two things. It's sometimes just, you know, you got to give the opponent credit and you move on. Um, when you, when Nate Mason and, and George Murphy were named captains, I know Akeem was as well, but, you know, they're returning players. What kind of things did, did you expect from them um, from a leadership standpoint and, and the way they're playing right now? Obviously, they're both not the most vocal guys, but they seem like their their play is just speaking volumes. They're they're more vocal than you think. Uh, they may not be loud, but they're vocal. Um, you know, where Akeem is a little bit louder, um, in a good way. You know, so sometimes being a leader, you know, you you don't have to be this screaming, um, you know, type of personality. Uh, so I think all three of them uh, balance each other out well. You know, and that that's important. And and I do think Akeem, besides. You know, shot here versus Wisconsin, Indiana, a lot of big plays he's made. The biggest contribution he's made is helping those guys get out of their comfort zone because young people don't want to lead, and, and that's that's normal with every team. College kids are not interested in leading, um, you know, and so Akeem has given us that opportunity, you know, the players the opportunity to, to understand it. And you know, he came with very good confidence. Came from a good team, a team that beat us, uh, you know, beat Wisconsin on the road. Uh, as well, so you know they they had uh, they had, had a lot of success, so uh, that's why he was confident. So it, it, it really helped helped our guys. And Nate and, and Murph uh, clearly playing their best that they've ever played here at the same time. I mean, how how huge is that for two two guys that you know obviously got inside out combination there, um, just to be playing the way they are right now? Yeah, I mean it's it's they're playing very well. I mean Nate was terrific last game, so was Murph. Uh, you know so. Anytime you have individuals perform, that's huge, you know. And, and I've always said, if you want to win in this league, you, you got to have some all-conference players. You know, it's not obviously about one individual, but normally the teams that win, they have certain guys that perform. And you know, Murph just uh, over the last couple of weeks, he's just been performing at a high level, and um, you know, it's a credit to him and his mentality, and you know, just, just, just becoming better and I think everybody's getting better and that's exciting to see. I'm sure you've seen a lot of layers to this team in the last few games that you've played. Is there one extra one that you'd like to see in the last regular season game or something that would stand out? It's not you know there's never one or you know one of the worst questions that you guys always ask is keys to the game. What does that mean? I mean there's so many things that go into it right? I mean so you can get better at everything. Every time you break down the film you can get better defensively, you can get better offensively, you can get better rebounding the ball. I mean, defensive rebound last game wasn't real good. You know, they had 20 offensive rebounds. So um, it's not one thing, it's just continuing to improve, and everybody can get a little bit better. And, you know, you hope you're playing your best basketball in February and March. Obviously, we had a terrific February, so hopefully, we can keep the momentum going. Uh, obviously, uh, Akeem, you know, if you looked at his senior night, I mean, it was perfect for him winning and being able to talk to the crowd and everything. Uh, but the, the back injury, do you feel like that it hindered him as 
Yeah, he forward. didn't play well, and I think it was his back, you know, so he, he, he didn't have a good game at all. Um, and he just he couldn't move real well. So, um, you know, gave him a little rest yesterday, and uh, hopefully he's back 100%. So, but at the end of the day, all he cares about is winning, you know, and um, he's, he's, he's been a great teammate. Everybody in this locker room, they don't, they don't really care about the individual part, but they just want to win. And um, that's, I think, why we've been able to win. Appreciate it.